unique storm stone found formations. There's the fence. Okay, I'm at the fence. I don't see anyone around, but I'm not sure I can get past it. How big is it? Big. It goes off in both directions. Acres. But what the fuck is going on out here? Whatever it is, someone doesn't want anyone to know about it. Sometimes biologists will cordon off a little area to study flora or whatever, but that's only a few square feet, usually. That's not what this is. <sighs> well, see what you can do to get past it. And what are the odds they left the gate unlocked? Pretty low, I'd imagine. All right, shoving gate does not. This tree is rattling it. I can't climb the tree, can I? No. Yikes. <laughs> oh, we're going to smash this. Nope, we're not. Arr. Look, I'm not going to be able to get into this place. Oh, shit. I, I don't know how long I can dick around out here until someone notices. God, if you were an actual firefighter, you'd have that gate down in two shakes. Oh. Hey, actually, those guys doing the controlled burn, they might be able to help. Where are they? Beyond Ruby River, there's a scout camp. They burned a line a few days ago that should let you hike right to them. Well, that's great. If they haven't left, they're probably the type of guys who would help you get through that fence. Uh, that's a supply drop. Okay, no. Jeez, I've done a lot. Oh, way down there. Holy smokes. Alright. Depending on how long this takes, I might edit it out. I'll be back for you, fence. Let's go up the river. Has anything strange been happening on your end? No, nothing really. Nothing really or nothing? Nothing. My door was open the other night, but that's not strange. That doesn't sound like nothing. It's nothing, I promise. All right, I'm headed toward the camp anyway. Okay, keep your radio close to you. What? Uh, hey, sure. Well, you just said keep my radio close to me yeah before i got attacked back at the lake i saw a radio on the ground kind oh, yeah. of like the one i use and do you think that maybe someone was you know uh 
I don't know. What? Maybe intercepting our frequency with other radios or something. Henry... It's just a thought. I, I don't even know how you would do that. Yeah, well, you sound worried. No, I'm not, okay? Let's not spin out of control. Just keep hiking. Whatever you say, boss. Just being cautious. I know we don't know what's going on yet, but I don't have a good feeling. I don't like feeling vulnerable. It's not like you can just call the police. I was thinking about the good ones. It just struck me that if anything weird like this happened to them, happened to Brian. Just how scared he would have been. He had his dad to protect him. Ned, right? Yeah. You don't think he could? No, you're you're probably right. It, it was three years ago. He's in high school now. He's on summer break. Yeah, you're right. You're right. Let's try to keep... Things calm. I missed my little... Oh, there he is! I don't think there's any fictional character I hate more than Forrest Burns. That is treason. <laughs> yeah, well, he really freaked me out as a kid. He inspired me to spend the bulk of my 30s keeping the wilderness safe. A shrink would have a field day with you. <laughs> <sighs> Thanks, Mom. Uh -uh. What kind of name is Forrest Burns anyway? Well, that would be a pun, Hank. A glorious pun. <laughs> I went to junior high with a guy named Royal Butts. Royal? Butts. Well, Royal's mom, Flo, was a bit of a trendsetter. Flo Butts? Oh, man, that's even worse. <laughs> yeah, well, it's still better than Forrest Burns. I don't think you need to jump there, but we are just taking what's in here. does later. I think there's probably a story going on there. Books, toilet paper, old toilet paper. No thanks. Pine cone. More books. Alright. Oh, this is the burned area. I found where they did the controlled burn. I can hike right through here now. Yeah, normally they wouldn't do that so close to a body of water, but I think they're extra worried about a fire jumping the river and burning up to two forks, now that there's someone in it. Well, I'm extra appreciative of that. Let's see, the scout camp is southeast of the river. There should be a pond on the way. Got it. Nope. Nope, gotta go the other way. Once while you hear no noises out in the woods. There's some old snowmobiles out here. That's crazy. 
Looks like one of the poor bastards was cruising across this pond and dumped it. That was not a fun hike back to civilization. Uh, there's an old pond out here, not much more than a pile of mud. Uh, do, do you have it on your map? Ah, uh, yeah, I know where you are. Yeah? Where am I? Pork Pond. There used to be a sign up for it, but, um, well, folks kept stealing it. Uh, because it's called Pork Pond? It's a good goddamn name. That sign would look great in a den, or, you know, anywhere. <laughs> Uh, I guess this is it, but... The bridge to the camp is out. Damn. I'm gonna walk the ravine and see if I can find some high ground to get across. Good plan. Something tells me it's over there. Doesn't look very safe. Alright. if a controlled burn gets out of control? Someone gets fired. Ugh. Are you serious? Oh, come on. That one was an honest accident. I'm not even in the mood for wordplay. That's how wound up all this shit has me. I'm at the camp. Great. Have a look around. If, if anyone's still there, they might be able to help. I'm gonna sound crazy. Maybe you just ask him to... To help you get inside the fence. If I didn't know it was out there, they probably don't either. This place looks dead, but I'll see what I can find. There are bear traps out here, in the scout shelters. Scouts are stalwart prey. That's messed up. <laughs> you ever talked to any of the scouts? They haven't been out here in a while, and I generally don't have a lot to say to preteens. Unless it's Brian Goodwin. Well, if forced, I mean, I can make conversation with anyone. Plus, it was sort of fun to hear about all of his nerdy hobbies. Yeah, these guys are gone. I found where they were sitting around before getting picked up. Hmm. Hey, D, they left something behind. It's uh, like a memo from their boss. Dr. Simmons? Interesting. Did it say anything of note? Uh, next few days, dropping into the thoroughfare on behalf of Dr. Simmons at Wapiti Station. Wapiti Station? Holy crap. Keep reading. Oh, I just thought I would maybe, you know, stop there, let the mystery percolate. <laughs> my mother always said I would need someone to give me a taste of my own medicine. They're running a research site out there. Uh, he was worried about wildfires. Someone is writing down our conversations. And now we find out there's a research site out here that, that, that we don't know about? What are they researching? Us. They're researching us. You... you think they're studying you and me? I do, yeah. Huh. I mean, maybe it's about studying two strangers who talk every day. Like, if you put someone in isolation with someone else, what they do. Yeah, that's what I think. Well, fuck that. Agreed. I think we should allow for the possibility that this is all just a big misunderstanding, but... God, if you saw what you said you did... Fuck, Henry. Yeah, I saw it. Okay. So what's next? Well, I've got an axe, so I can figure out a way to get over the ravine and back towards the site. Sounds good. Check in when you can, and keep an eye out for anyone following you. What? Following me? I do not approve. Alright. So let's go keep going north. See if we can wrap around that way. Snowmobiles. Control burger. Long way to go. Alright. Let's do it. Chopped up this tree. 
tree. That'll be our bridge. Hear it. You heard someone in the bushes. Yeah. Okay, so let's assume we're being tailed. Or you are, at least. Where are you right now? Just on my way back, in and out of trees in the middle of nowhere. Do you see anybody? No, definitely not. All right, so uh, tell me what you think of this. <laughs> Did you just cough? No. Did you just cough? No. Oh, fuck. Oh, fuck. Shit. Um, there isn't any way someone, like, another lookout could be on this line, is there? No. Not without tapping our radios. Well, what about when I heard you talking to someone else? I just left your line open. That's not what this is. Get in your tower. Shut the door. Don't leave, and don't use your radio. I'll call you. Understand? I will call you. Yikes. Well, at least I got an axe. 